Hey guys, Team Vilar George here, back again, this time around with the early 2017 balance prediction video. It's that time of the year again where a presumed balance is on the horizon, and I've compiled a little list here. Talk about a couple of cards that are hot topics right now. Uh, these are cards that may get hit and may come off. So feel free to leave a comment down below, tell me if you agree, and uh, mention any cards that I may have forgotten. So without further ado, let's get into the list. First up is Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, this has been a long time coming since it's already at one, but uh, with the recent release of DDDs, there's a combo with Siegfried whereby you can turn Vanity's Emptiness on and off, on on your opponent's turn and off on your turn. Uh, this is very degenerate and um, it was already a, enough of a pain before when it was kind of a balanced card and everyone couldn't special summon. So I think it's finally time to go. It's lived long enough at this point. Next up is Norden. Um, in the OCG, when Norden came out, it immediately got banned. Uh, here though, it got limited to 1, which wasn't an issue until Toad came out. Essentially every insta fusion you draw is a free Toad, especially in water based decks, because Norden and Bahamut Shark. However, Bahamut Shark is not the issue here, it's 2 waters, which is kind of specific. The fact that it's easy to summon is because Norden, everything's free with Norden. So yeah, I think it's finally time to hit that as well, uh, especially with the release of Rare Fish, it's kind of its replacement in my opinion. Instafusion on the other hand shouldn't get hit because without Norden, you really can't summon anything too crazy. And it helps a lot of uh, rogue decks out, which is uh, needed. Uh, next up is Omega. Omega should go to 1 because of a lot of hand loops that that are going on. Um, it's still good at 1, just a generic uh, level 8, really good synchro otherwise. Uh, finally, uh, another one is uh, Strike. This has been a long time coming as well. Card's been out for a year since the release of Bosch. Uh, most good Solemns are limited to one. Uh, I think it's finally time for this card. It's a very good card. It stops a lot of plays, and uh, I'm sick and tired of it, to be honest with you. Another thing they should also do is bring back Solemn Judgment to one, like we've seen in the OCG. It is a very good card late game, but I mean, it's good at one in the OCG, so I don't really see the, the problem of it being at one here either. It would be interesting to have that little Solemn Brigade with all the Solemns. Uh, this next choice is kind of debatable, maybe you guys wouldn't agree, but uh, I think Pot of Desires is also another possible hit target. Uh, it's just a generic plus one, and we don't see a lot of those nowadays in this game. They usually get banned early on. Um, if Upstart got hit to one, they should also get hit to one, because this thins out your deck way more, no? It's just a logical conclusion. Um, it may or may not happen, I mean, it did come out in August, they have sold enough already, so I think it's about that time. Now I also have two theories with this ban list. They can either A, release the ban list before Zodiacs, or by they nuke the meta so they can sell more Zodiacs, or B, gauge the meta after Zodiacs come out, and kind of indirectly hit it as a result having a non t zero uh, meta. So um, I'll go with the first scenario first, so where they nuke it. So they would have to hit current meta decks such as ABCs, whereby they would hit Union Hanger. A uh, Union Hanger is what starts the combo, and usually without drawing a Union Hanger, you can't really make ABC Buster anyways. And then for Metal Foes, maybe hit Mithrilium, because that's what causes all these Metal Foes fusion loops. Um, although that probably won't happen, because it's a fairly recent card that came out. Um, and then for the Frog decks, I guess actually hitting Totally Awesome to 1, like they did in the OCG. However, that also probably won't ha happen, because uh, it came out recently as well. Um, the alternative is to indirectly hit Zodiax afterwards which would include maybe a limit to Terra Top like they did in the OCG to avoid uh, rank 3's such as Invoker. Invoker also might get hit to 0 to avoid that. The speed whites also need Terra Top so it would be nice to keep that around. And then um, they also might hit uh, Tanky because Tanky searches out Mormorat for free. So yeah, that would probably be the alternative. Um, now I'd like to discuss cards that can come off the list. Cards that just don't need to be on the list anymore. Uh, first up is Mathematician. Um, all the cards, well, all the decks that made this card good are basically gone now. And they only send level 4 lower monsters to the grave. It's not like Foolish Burial where there's any monster. So I really don't understand why this is still at 1. I think it should come back. It wasn't really that harmful. Next way is Gateway of the Six. It's a really good card, but I mean, Six Samurais don't hold the light to any current meta deck. They won't do anything, so it doesn't hurt to just allow people to play old decks. These next two have boggled my mind for the longest time. It's Torrential Tribute and Compulse at 1. I can see the issue with having to play through 3 Torrential Tributes, but I mean, you can still break it to 2. I mean, like, what are the odds you're going to see both of them? And then, again, what is Torrential Tribute going to do? A lot of these effects activate in the grave nowadays, so people want their cards getting sent to the graves. So it really doesn't make a difference. And then Compulse, just, I don't know why that's at 1. It's not that great of a card. It should just come back to 3. It just doesn't make any sense to me. 
Um, also, with the uh, simulated hit of Wind Up Magicians, they could just go full throttle and unban a lot more of the Wind Up stuff. I mean, as long as they keep Hunter banned, uh, the loop is not possible and you can just play the old deck again. And then another highly favored deck that got unjustly hit, according to a lot of people, uh, Shadals. They also do not hold a light to the current meta, so it would be interesting to see them come back so people can play them. Uh, they're already seeing some play in trains, but it would be cool to have their own deck again. Um, so yeah, those are my couple of uh, hot topic cards that I want to discuss. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below again, tell me if you agree or disagree and why, and uh, any cards that I may have missed. And uh, yeah, Team Large George is signing out.